I have never really decided if I believe in God or not. The concept of God tends to be a subject where you aren't allowed to ask questions or give your opinion, so I have to admit it's kind of hard for me to buy it. People also say that God is supposed to be just and fair, so it doesn't make any sense to me that by most religious definitions, a good moral person who did everything he could to help others would still go to hell if he happened to be an atheist. Religion also seems to keep people from communicating well, because if a deeply religious person meets a not-religious person, the religious person will think, oh, this guy is a heretic, I must show him the way. And the not-religious person will think, this guy is a Jesus freak, I have to get the hell out of here. I wish I could remember who said that while it's not okay to ask God for a bicycle, it seems to be okay to steal a bicycle and ask God to forgive you. I've always thought it was interesting that churches usually have incredibly high ceilings, because when you think about it, they are specifically designed to make an individual feel as small, humble, and insignificant as possible. As a non-religious person, it's rather straightforward to theorize how people came up with the concept of God. I figure a really long time ago, one guy said to the other, Hey man, my neighbor has been stealing my sheep, making moves on my wife, and now he says he's going to kill me. How do I stop him from being such an asshole? And the other guy said, Well, I suppose we could tell him that an all-powerful deity will send him to burn in a pit of fire for eternity if he doesn't behave himself. And the first guy said, That's a good idea, man. Let's go write a Bible. What really made me start to lose all interest in organized religion was when my high school biology teacher, who was supposed to teach us about nature and evolution, would point out the window on a sunny day and ask us, how can any of you not believe in God? Another time, when I was working for a catering company, we catered an event for priests at a church. The topic for their meeting was, how do we convince the parish that their donations will not be used to pay off the priest molestation lawsuits? And most recently, while still saying things like God is love, most religions still place restrictions on which genders people are allowed to love. I've always thought the term God-fearing was odd, because I can't think of a single instance where fear and paranoia brought out the best in people. Though I don't know if I believe, I deeply understand the appeal of thinking that there is something greater than us. Though I don't know if I believe, when I think about how long I'm going to be dead, I understand the appeal of believing in an afterlife. Though I don't know if I believe, for some reason, movies about the devil always really freak me out. I know it sounds corny, but I think that being a good person because you want to be a good person is probably a lot more satisfying than being a good person so you can get into heaven. It never ceases to amaze me how much human misery is committed in the name of God. It never ceases to amaze me that anyone thinks that God would approve of television evangelists. I've never figured out if I believe God exists, but if he does, I think he must be terribly disappointed in us.